welcome back to Magic the Gathering. This is going to be a soft spoken video instead of what I usually do being whispers. As I said in the previous magic video, this is going to be about my blue and white deck. And I took the time to sort them a bit more than in the previous one. So there are no duplicates. And I also sorted them by color. So first are the multicolored cards, if that's what you call it. I'm not really sure. This first card is an Ascended Law Mage. Hopefully it will focus a bit better than in the first video too. This card is a creature with three attack and two defense. And it has flying and hex proof. And it says, a law mage's runic script is an act of governance given form. Legislation written directly onto the air itself. The next card is a Yellen or Jellen Sphinx. It has flying and vigilance, and as a secondary ability, it has um, this effect. Whenever Jelen Sphinx attacks, other attacking creatures get plus one, plus one until the end of turn. Next card is Live Skylight. So, <laughs> Live Sky Knight. It's a flying creature with three attack and one defense. When Live Sky Knight enters the battlefield, detain target non land permanent and opponent controls. Until your next turn, that permanent can't attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be activated. Next up, we have Deputy of Acquittals. It's a creature with two attack and two defense. It has flash. You may cast this spell anytime you could cast an instant. When Deputy of Acquittals enters the battlefield, you may return another target creature you control to its owner's hand. Next up we have a few islands, and like I said, there are no duplicates, but I still wanted to show these cards because the, the artwork is pretty amazing, I think.
since the last video I made a, a very sketchy windscreen for my recorder out of a sock but it's a clean sock and it seems to work very well this is a really cool card Now we're getting to the blue cards. This one's Paralyzing Grasp. It's an enchantment aura card. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. next card is Cancel. It's a very straightforward card. It's an instant counter target spell. I remember being annoyed on multiple occasions because my friend used this card against me. We traded it, so now I have it. The next card is called Warden of Evo's Isle. It's a creature card with two attack and two defense. It has flying. Creature spells with flying you cast cost one land less to cast. This card is called Dissolve. It's an instant card. Counter target spell and scry. Look at the top card of your library. You may put that card on the bottom of your library. Tome Scour. It's a sorcery card. Target player puts the top five cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. And that's kind of a funny quote. I hope none of those were important. Just kind of rubbing it in the face of your opponent. Murmuring Phantasm. Kind of a creepy art. It's a creature with zero attack and five defense. And I guess that makes it a defender card. Again, with kind of a funny quote. The most insidious thing in the world is nonsense that sounds just plausible enough to listen to.
Now I'm just going to show you the cards and at the end of the video I can do some more close-up sounds of the cards. Disperse. It's an instant card. Return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Now we're getting to the the white cards. So first are all the planes. I quite like white cards for some reason. But it's hard to pick just one color of cards. Because they all have their own kind of style. It's a really pretty card. Seems like a nice place to be. Okay, now getting to the white spell cards. This one's Ray of Dissolution. It's an instant that can destroy target enchantment you gain three life angelic wall it's definitely one of my favorite cards in this deck a creature card with zero attack and four defense. It's also a defender, which means that this creature can't attack. And it has flying. Which makes it a really useful card to have because it's it doesn't cost much in terms of lands you need to tap and it, since it also has flying you can use it to block flying creatures okay this is for sure my favorite card of this deck And when I say favorite, I I mean just the the artwork. It's a creature with two attack and two defense. Sacrifice keening apparition, destroy target enchantment. Wall of Swords. It's a creature with three attack 
and five in defense. Again, it's a defender with flying. So it's slightly better than the angelic wall. But they're both really good. Sarah Angel is a creature with four attack and four defense. It has flying and vigilance. Attacking doesn't cost this creature to tap. Griffin Sentinel. It's a creature with one attack and three defense. It also has flying and vigilance. The next card is Hopeful Eidolon. I hope I said that right, but I don't think I did. It's an enchantment creature with one attack and one defense. Bestow three lands and one planes. If you cast this card for its bestow cost, it's an aura spell with enchant, with enchant creature. It becomes a creature again if it's not attached, attached to a creature. It also has lifelink. Damage dealt by this creature also causes you to gain that much life. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one, and has lifelink. Blessing an enchantment or a card. Enchant creature. And if you tap one more planes card, the enchanted creature gets plus one plus one until end of turn. This is, without a lot of doubt, the funniest card I have. It's called Pacifism. It's an enchantment aura card. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature can't attack or block. But it's the quote that makes it really funny in combination with the, the image. For the first time in his life, Croc felt a little warm and fuzzy inside. It's like a, a zombie kind of thing with flowers and a little and a mouse, maybe. Next card is Martial Law. It's an enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, to tame target creature and opponent controls. Until your next turn, that creature can't attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be activated. It's 
people rock. Is a creature with three attack and one defense. It has flying and first strike. Sometimes it forgets to loosen its grip before taking flight. I lost my roof that way. Just a few more cards. Show of Valor. It's an instant card. Target creature gets plus two, plus four until end of turn. Cowards watch, heroes act. And the last card of this deck is Yoked Ox. It's a creature zero attack, and four defense. It was in fields of grain, not fields of battle, that the champion learned to bear the yoke of duty to the gods. She worked the land long before she was called on to defend it. was it for this deck. I do have a lot more cards um, and I think I'm going to put those into videos as well. Maybe show the white cards in one video and uh, yeah, you know, one color per video maybe. Maybe two. Let's do some more close-up sounds.
was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you found it somewhat relaxing. Like I said, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments. And I'd be more than happy to make more of them for you. Seeing as I have a lot more cards that I can show. Thank you for watching. And good night.